There's a lot in these directions, so let's look at it. Bananas get closer to the river, but further away from each other. Ah, hint, use two variables. Okay, the distance to the monkey, the distance the monkey needs to step, and the distance the turtle needs to step. Okay, so they're showing us that we have other options for writing our variables and how we label our variables can probably be helpful in helping us keep track of what they're for. So let's take a look. All right, they start us out. So the distance to the monkey, dm, is gonna start with 20. The distance to the turtle is gonna start with six. So we have four times. All right, now we don't need to say anything. Um, and I'm gonna change that to, so really first we just need the monkey to step that, which will be 20, step DM. Then, and the key with coding is just, what do I want the monkey to do first? What do I want the monkey to do next? So after the monkey steps 20, we need to go backwards 20. Minus DM, the M is for the monkey. Now, when the monkey gets back to the turtle, the turtle is gonna need to move. But first, I wanna deal with the variable for the monkey while we're in the monkey variable. We could do it later in the loop, but I'd like to do it here for my organization in my brain. So the next time needs to be 15. So our equation is gonna be dm equals dm minus, because we're going down, five. All right, so as I like to do, I'm gonna change that four to a one and I'm gonna run it, because there's nothing worse than having some little weird spacing thing off. All right, now I don't need to. All right. I think I'm good. So I'm gonna click here and get my cursor back in line. Now I'm gonna have the turtle. So I need the turtle to step and the turtle's variable is DT. So that first time it's six, right? And we don't need the turtle to go backwards, but we do need the turtles to change from next time. So now we need to have the turtles equation. So DT equals dt, we're going from six to eight, so we're increasing, plus two. All right, I'm still running it one time to test it, because it makes me feel sane to be able to see it one time through. And see, we see our variable change, and we saw our variable change, so we're good. So I think now we were at three. Oh. No, I think we're at four, because we have to go forward, back four times. All right, let's see how it goes.